Okay. Hi. Um, June 1st, which is exciting for any theater nerds that just like did one of these and like, yay, it's blank. Because this was a shit show. Like this was <laughs> not fun. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm really, I'm really, really glad that May is over. However, June is gonna be something else. So um, it's a baby month, which is exciting. Dun, dun, dun. We're, we're gonna have two new team members this month, two little tiny ones. Woo! Um, so I'm actually gonna update, um, the team cover photo for just the month of June, like what June happenings there are. Um, and I wanted to just ask anyone that has a team name, if you have a logo, if you want to send it to me, I'll just put it on there as well. Um, so that way we're kind of all represented in that cover photo. Um, and then I'm just going to continue to update that for the month of June. I intend to get a June calendar out at some point this weekend. Um, so I will plan on doing that, but I kind of wanted to just do a quick rundown of the month of June um, and like what I'm planning on doing um, and then just um, kind of going from there. So um, I plan on doing a new coach training starting on, um, I was going to start it on the 3rd, but I don't know if we have, if anybody has any new coaches, anybody that's ready to dive into that, um, if so, let me know. Um, and we can do just kind of a prep week this week. Um, but then I might, I was planning on doing just recruiting um, and then starting it on the 10th. Um, sneak peek this week, new coach, um, kind of new coach sneak peek stuff. Um, and then kind of just getting amped up for Summit. So we know that next month is a big month for um, our businesses as far as Summit goes. Um, obviously, if you haven't got a ticket yet and you can make it, get there. Um, and um, just a lot of, so a lot of um, these Beachbody events, as you know, like you do them, you talk about them, you share them, you share the community, and that really helps draw people in with like, oh, this isn't something that you have to do alone. And there's other people that, you know, are there and things like that too. So um, just keeping that in mind um, as we go into the summer months. Um, May is typically a really challenging month as far as like business and recruiting um, people, coaches, everything, because I mean, you guys know, like May, Sember is like an actual thing and May is just a shit show of a month. And it's like, just get me through to where I can breathe again. So, um, <clears throat> I feel like June calms down a little bit and people are a lot more interested in like recommitting to something because they have summer availability to kind of be a little bit more committed. Um, and, um, so I think the new promo this month where a lot of the challenge packs are 20 bucks off, um, is going to be really, really helpful and really beneficial. And then same with like following up. So, um, this health bet group, I had like no intention of making this a big giant thing. However, I've had a lot of response with it and, um, and I'm excited to kind of see what happens this month. I have several new people who are like brand new enrolled like yesterday and hoping to get enrolled this weekend. Um, and just excited to have some fresh new faces um, in some groups as well. So <clears throat> my conversations with people have been extremely basic and kind of direct and to the point. So anytime someone asks me, tell me a little bit more about your group, I've just been bluntly honest with them about like, this is what it, this is what it is. This is what you get. This is what it costs. This is what it normally costs. But right now for you, um, it's super discounted. So, um, that's been a big selling factor, um, just in the last couple conversations that I've had. And, um, I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway, it's, <laughs> I, I like coming from kind of that Jen Guthrie email. I haven't been using that. I honestly have, I did a couple times, didn't really see much from it. So, and I think Kelly, you were probably the same way. Um, I, I don't know. My conversations have 
been well. I, do I need to hit Success Club 82 every month? No, I, that's too much for my brain to handle. So I'm good with like a 10 to 20. Um, so um, also, side note, squirrel moment. Um, there's a, I can't remember who he is, but there's a man coach that um, he's like, I don't remember the last time I've hit SC10. Like I don't hit SC10. He's in the Millionaire Club. He did a call for somebody not too long ago. Um, but he's like been a coach for like eight years, millionaire club, like super successful. And he's like, I typically recruit two to five people every month and he, or three to five people every month. And he goes, I just help them build their business. So then they're building income. Um, so he's like, I don't hit huge SC numbers. I don't want to have 45 new people in my challenge group every month. He's like, I just want to find people that want to build and work the business and that want to get results and can commit. So quantity quality over quantity um can be really really beneficial too so um i think about that like when i'm you know i'd like to recruit 10 new coaches this month like that seems absurd and i don't honestly know what i would do with 10 new coaches that's like too many little baby chicks in a basket to try to like organize so um my goal is always like two to three because i feel like i can like juggle two to three balls at once and not a hundred. So, um, again, quanti qu quantity over quality, um, quality over quantity. So, um, so, you know, if you're thinking about that and you're thinking about, you know what, like, I would love to like build my downline. I'd love to build my organization. I'd love to bring some new women in and like help them build a business. Like it doesn't have to be 15 people in a month. Like it's it, to, to have one new coach come on and like want to work the business and do work and, and, and work the business and do a good job of it. Um, that's, that's great. And if you do that once a month, every month, um, then you got yourself a pretty nice little organization going on. So, um, <clears throat> so coach, new coach training, um, you know, is definitely something we can kick off on the third or the 10th, depending. Um, and if that's something that you want to do, um, then by all means do it, let me know. And we'll just kind of make it a team effort too. Um, challenge groups this month. I'm just keeping my enrollment for the health bed open until midnight on Monday. So that way, hopefully anybody that didn't get signed up, yesterday um, I'm giving them through the weekend and just working through some follow-ups um, until uh, Sunday Monday night um, and then I'm gonna do a couple more little posts about that if you aren't doing a health bet and want to do a health bet by all means you're more than welcome to and invite people and you know piggyback our group or whatever um, and if not you are always more than welcome to do your own and um, and that might be something that you might want to do for the month of July too. Something to think about. Um, so I feel like June and July are usually kind of just get people together and get them organized and give them the support for the summer months. So that way they can kind of establish something consistent before August picks back up again. And we're worrying about little children going back to school and chaos and crazy and stuff again. Um, so I don't really have anything, um, profoundly important to share, um, as far as like, um, you know, personal development or team building type stuff. Um, but I think, you know, we have the opportunity to be extremely intentional this month, um, with our business because it's summer and we can kind of set the pace for how we want our summer to go as far as business goes. I feel like I can breathe a little bit better during the summer and, um, and I have, um, a little bit more focus and drive. And like, for me, I have to make it work in short increments a day. I don't have all day while my kids are at school that I can like sit around and mess around on my computer like I have to be a lot more focused with my time so I appreciate this summer for that reason that like I'm a lot more focused in shorter periods of time because I have a lot more going on with <coughs> children in my face all the time so 
um, power packets and power hours are something that I really want to work toward this summer. And I'd like to implement a weekly power hour um, that, you know, everybody can do if you want to join it um, as well. So I'll probably post something about that. Maybe get a poll and see what times work best for everyone for the summer. Um, and we can definitely imp implement something like that. Um, diving in, does anybody have anything they want to share from this last month? Um, anything that, any ideas you have going into this next month? Um, any victories from this past month? Challenges, anything like that? I got some SC points. You got some SC points? I have had some really good conversations. I feel like I finally am like, like I really focused on like relationship building this month. Like last month, I did the go for no, but I felt like there was no relationship piece. Like it was like, excuse me, send out the invites and um, so I've really focused on like a structure and format this month. It's not perfect, but I also have felt fallen off with like all of my end of the school, you know, all of the things that I need to be doing in my classroom for the end of the year. But I feel like I have a tracking system. I feel like I have a routine. I feel like it's very focused instead of me scrolling Facebook looking for people to invite. Like, I know where I'm going to invite on each day from and send my invites. I know who I'm following up with. I know who I'm talking to as far as just having conversations. So hopefully that proves to be successful at some point or another. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Um, Kelly and I were talking about that the other day about like being a lot more intentional with like who you're talking to and not just like throwing conversations. And I think that's kind of where that Jen Guthrie email like yeah. just felt so off because it was like, it just didn't feel authentic. You know, it was very much copy and paste. And, um, and I think I people feel you that it. authenticity. Yeah. I do use it. Um, I'm gonna go back as soon as Tuesday is over. I'm gonna go back <laughs> and I'm gonna get rid of some of it. Yeah. Like I feel like it's a lot for me. I feel like it's a really good piece. Like I like that piece and I've gotten a lot of email I've gotten a lot of emails, like, but I feel like it's too much. Like I need to simplify that information. Yeah. So, and I like it. I like that piece of it. I just feel like for me and who I am, that piece needs to be simplified. Yeah, I agree. But I liked, you know, that national wake up call a few weeks ago with the guy who is the police officer um, and his process, like, you know, I, um, you know, follow, if they're following me, I send them my information or like, you know, my welcome. If they um, reply back and we start a conversation and I put them in streak, it pops up a week later. I go and I'm commenting on their things and whatever, put them in streak a week later, still having a conversation and then I send an invite. Like, so it's very like, Yes, I'm putting it in streak, and yes, it's like timed conversations, but throughout that time, I could be having, like, throughout that time, I'm having a lot of conversations with the, the people, so when it pops up to remind me to talk, go, like, talk to them or comment on their stuff, I'm already chatting with them on the side, so it's not perfect, but it's far better than what I had, and I feel like I'm getting somewhere. <clears throat> so when you say that you put them in streak, are you are you getting their email address right away or are you just putting their name in streak? I'm putting their name in streak. Yeah, okay. All right. 
Yeah, so putting their name in streak, and then when I get their email, I just add it to their mm -hmm. or their box. Yeah, okay. I have it. You guys hear those geese? A little bit. Yeah. There was like 50 geese that just flew over my house. It was really weird. <laughs> Kelly, it's real quiet. Did Eric take your boys and go somewhere? No, they just came out. You didn't see them like yeah. whining and complaining about everything? Uh-uh, I didn't. They were barking simultaneously. <laughs> I was like, everybody leave me alone. Find your dad. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Mine, well, half of mine went fishing. The other one, it's like a cops and bobbers, like fishing tournament. <laughs> so the boys just what, left. Bria's not going till 10. Nice. With grandma and grandpa. No, um, can I, actually, can I share my screen? Yeah. Let's see. I was gonna show you guys. This is what I absolutely love. So, so when I look at my inbox, I literally just go off my inbox. So it says um, you have one streak test due tomorrow, and it goes all the way down. And I just click on those people. I click on her name. She's in the follow up stage. Then I can see like what we've chatted about. And then I just add my notes. And then go click on the next person. So it's a little bit more time consuming than in the past, but it it's better use of my time. Yeah, it seems super organized, like you're not yeah. sitting there hanging out. Yeah, and it's always with me. So, like, am I still sharing? No. no. I, my okay. video has disappeared. I have no idea. I have nothing right now. I don't know what happened. You're, I can't see anything. I don't know. No? I still uh, see this, but I don't see your screen, Sarah. No, I, I took my screen off. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, like, I don't feel like I'm like randomly commenting on someone on my feed. Like, I feel like there's a method to my madness. It does. I do it in packets a little bit more now, but I know what I'm doing. Like, I wake up in the morning and I start my Captivate. I go find my people and I do, I've been doing segments a lot. Do you guys know how to do that? You've been doing what? Segment selection. So, yeah. So, like, I go into Target Teachers, and I click on, like, a whole chunk of people. Like, I click the first person, scroll down, click the second person, and then I go into um, select segment, and then I click follow, and then I add them to my cloud. So, like, all day, I'm, I'm following, like, 200 people. And then after school, I go in and anyone who has started following me back, I send my messages. Then, so like, it's real quick. Like nothing takes more than probably 10 minutes. But there's like a, a method to the madness. The follow-ups is what takes the most time because I'm going, I have my email or, you know, my streak or whatever and I'm typing in the notes and I'm typing the people on my phone. So that's what that the follow-ups are harder to do on the, the fly. But I also am comfortable not following up every day. Like if I have 10 follow-ups today, I can roll them over and do my 10, you know, because I know tomorrow I have more. So I don't know. It seems to be really working like as far as my conversations and my relationship building and then moving that into the fitness piece and having conversations about that so i'm just going to keep on working with it and hopefully 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 one of my goals this summer like i have a whole bunch of 
calls and stuff saved <laughs> for Henry's going to be out for two days a week. Oh yeah. And I'll be home. Like this is, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to figure out the streak this summer. <laughs> it's really easy once you like get the hang of it. I am. Right. Um, I was I super at the time, the monkey it and put it off forever because I was like, that looks so complex. Like that's not something I can do. Yeah. But it's actually super easy. I mean, I just have to do it. Yeah. And with school, there's no just doing it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what, like, I played with it. Like, I was kind of trying to get some sort of clean this this last month mm-hmm. because I knew it was going to be a hard month anyway. So I'm like, well, I'll just start playing with all of this in a sequence that I have so then I can hit June and go. Got it. So I'll take that challenge, getting streak figured out, because I've done it, and I've used it, and then I don't, and then I go back. I'm just terrible about staying, thanks, staying on top of it, and I know, please, come on, okay, um, just trying to stay on top of it, and make it a consistent thing because I have like contacts in there that I'm like hey if I want to do follow-ups I should probably go back to those people from when I started to really use streak a year ago and then I stopped using it like that's <laughs> <sighs> so it's nice to have everybody in one place too because like yeah. you know I have people like in a notebook and I have people on a marker board downstairs and I have people in streak and then I have messages in my inbox and I'm like when I go to like figure out it's like all these different places to look it's stupid they just need well, all one spot there's a reason why it works so well for so many people and there's a reason why like top coaches use it and rave about it like they they obviously know what they're doing maybe i should take a page from them and do that too <laughs> 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 like oh how'd you get those results well i actually just did the things that were kind of challenging and then that's but it happened. Oh, oh, well, maybe I should apply that to my business. <laughs> Hot mess. It's okay. <clears throat> um, anybody else have anything they want to share? I have released the dam on Facebook. <laughs> and I just mean that it took me this long to get over the hump of sending friend requests to people who are like periphery people or people from college who, you know, I, I may remember, but they may not remember me. And it's like, finally, I don't care. Like what, I don't know what the big deal has been about sending friend requests to people on Facebook, but I feel like that, that's where my people have come from. Like I do, I mean, I do stuff on Instagram, but now I just do the same thing on both because I was thinking that Instagram would be where all my people came from, but it's not really. Um, so finally, I feel like <laughs> I don't care. You can tell me no, and I, A, won't know about it, won't care. So yep. the person who just signed up last night just sent me a friend request. She's a parent at school, not in my room. Oh. And I was like, sure, whatever, yeah. Bam, she signed up. So I just have have to let it go and be okay with it. Hi. 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 We can't see you. Hi. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Hi. In the bathroom, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this, Holy this was my brother's robe. Oh, yeah. Now he has a new robe. And now your he has a blue robe that yeah. with stars on it. <laughs> I know. Sorry to hijack your. Mm. Um, oh, I love it. <laughs> I tried to get Henry to come down. He sent me down with a pair of scissors. He won't come down. <laughs> Say hello. Okay. That's all. I think that's extremely 
important and significant lady. And that's like, a. it's, I mean, how many of you guys like have, you know, like when you get that first new person, that's like, oh, well, how, who are you? And I would love to have you join. Like, where did, how do we know each other? You know? And I think that's, um, <clears throat> for me, it was like, oh, it's really like, it's really beneficial for me to, you know, not, and not only like send friend requests, but like accept friend requests from like, you know, like granted, like, okay, I see, um, who was talking about it the other day? Amy, please come on, dude. The jewelry people with the sparkles in their profiles. The paparazzi, yeah, the paparazzi people. And I feel like that's like 50% of my people right now are like, I'm like, I don't care. Maybe they want to work out. But yeah. Like friend requests that come from like, somebody that's in a different MLM that is doing something completely unrelated. However, like I had an it works girl this last month. No way. Yeah. And I'm like, she, like she's all of her posts are about her keto coffee and weight loss. And I'm like, that's funny. You just joined my challenge group with Shakeology because your stuff doesn't work. No way. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, everyone that I've talked to from It Works really believes that it works, but they're not having any success. No, and you can buy on for fifty dollars. They keep mm. they will they refuse to drink Shakeology, and they're like, "No, I love what I have," and I have to be like, "Okay, well, why are you talking to me?" Yeah, right. <laughs> because you're reaching out to me for help. Because you love what you have, but it's not working. But like, I don't think they get it. That it's not working. Right. They they think they need to add the workout. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, everybody just thinks the workouts are like the the key to success. You know, they're like, mm -hmm. oh, I'll just work out, and then it'll be great. I had a girl um, when I was doing my follow ups yesterday. I wasn't counting on her because we've had conversations a thousand times and everyone she doesn't commit. But <clears throat> um, she emailed me back and she was like, I have a question. What, um, what, because I sent her the enrollment email, like the Jen Guthrie one. So it says like the one I purchased. So the, the challenge pack, the regular 160. Um, and then I have the UPF, which is, and then I, it says like what I use now. And she said, what she, I mean, it was a really good question. Like, would you, what would you recommend now? Or, you know what I mean? Like, why did you do what you did? Like, why did you, if you were to buy again, I think it was like, if you were to buy again, and I said, I would buy the ultimate portion fix. I said, it wasn't available when I started. And I said, and that nutrition is key. It has a game changer and you can't, you can't only have one piece of the puzzle. Right. So many people don't get that. No. Although, you know what? I don't know if you would have done that, though, because I had a real hard time getting you to just get a challenge pack. Right. Oh, I wouldn't have. Yeah. No, I probably yeah. wouldn't have. But, like, now looking back of when, like, everything changed, like, my mindset and all, it was all on that nutrition. I'm just messing with you, Sarah. But I would I, <laughs> It's truthful. Like I wouldn't have. I couldn't even get the challenge pack. I had to put it on a. I had to put it on a credit card without telling my husband. Really? Yeah. I never I told him. You that. waited a couple months too. Oh yeah, I did the. I did Bob. From yeah. January, I did Bob like from me for a while or something. I don't know. January to March. Have you shared well, that? Like publicly, have you shared that like in a post or anything? Probably. Because I feel like there's a lot of people that do that or that are like, oh my gosh, my husband would kill me if I spent such and such, you know, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you how to talk to your husband. You but can write, you write on a packing slip. <laughs> I said, um, I did tell him, like, I just told him because it was right, like the week of our anniversary. And I was like, this is just my anniversary present. Like, don't worry about it. I bought it, and then it was like one of those, like, ask for forgiveness. Okay. Instead of asking for permission, ask for forgiveness. I just did it. I went back and forth with Luke for 
a month and a half and it was September 19th because it was literally one month after my birthday and I his parents give me a hundred bucks for my birthday every year and mm -hmm. I was going to get some new shoes because I always use that money to go get a brand new pair of Asics and I didn't and I bought a challenge pack instead and he was like you're wasting your money that shake is stupid you're it's, it's so expensive mm -hmm. and I was going to do <laughs> and now look <laughs> Yeah, right? I Not know. Like, and, it's stupid again. <laughs> that's what, like, it has changed our lives, all of us. Yeah. Right? The kids, the kids, like. Um, yeah, I, we were actually talking about my May income yesterday because we were looking at. Aniston, Aniston, please do, come on. Oh my gosh, everybody's right here. I'm getting all the things. Ah, don't do it. This is, she just brought herself a drink in this tiny shot glass that was sitting Good on the job, bar. Sister. Mommy taught her well. Yes. Oh, my kids drink out of wine glasses all the time. It's a Cardinals one. She's so cool of her favorite team. Yeah. That's what we really have in the bathroom for Henry to rinse with. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying not to freak out as water gets spilled all over my brand new June calendar. <laughs> At least it's not your computer. <laughs> yeah. Ashley, have you um, used Google Calendar? Yeah, I use it um, for any, for the slurping, really the slurping. Um, <laughs> I use I'm not bothering anybody else, Ashley, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right here in my ear though so I'm like oh, okay. really distracted. um I use it for like I plug in my power hours and um and stuff like that and Luke and so, I show the calendar um I you know you can share that like with your team no we don't okay, well, so let me show you <laughs> Let me show you real fast what I did. Because of me, like, I'm running around like a crazy person at all times. Wait. I'm going to be home or whatever. Wait. And I have to keep a team calendar. Hold on. Okay. You Hold your calendar first and then tell us the story because your yeah. computer can't do both. Am I here? You're cut. You're cut. So, um, hold I know. Hold on. Let me um, make sure Bria's not. Bria. Bria. Not Bria. Wi-Fi. <laughs> 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 okay. Everyone knows the struggle. <laughs> That's what my computer does. I can't uh, be on the call. Like a I'm robot. <laughs> <laughs> Bria. Oh, hey, hey, can you go upstairs and make sure that your bag is all packed and ready to go? And that you have your breath stinks. Yeah, this is what I'm going through over here. Mom, your breath stinks. Well, cute, <laughs> sweet, it's honest. Hey, give me just a Annie. Okay, I'm going to need you to run. Help, Dad. I'm going too much too. Okay, and I'm going to finish this, and then I'm going to be upstairs, and then we're going to go. Deal. Mm -hmm. Don't squeeze my neck too tight. That hurts. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Bye. I love you. Bye. I love you. Bye. Okay. So, <laughs> Annie. Bria. I know. God, I didn't well, even hear anything. Oh, turn it. I was like, turn that shit down. I like it. Um. Okay. So, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So this is my our June calendar. And so like, it's its own separate calendar. So inspire and empower team calendar. Um, so all my girls have access to this. So like, I have like, okay, what are we doing? We're inviting for a June challenge group, but here I can click on it and it gives them a sample invite of like what they could send people. Um, and then like I plug in like each of our, um, like national wake up call is on there and it has the link to team beach body 411 all of our team calls are on there it has the link already embedded in there and it was super easy to make because i just put it on repeat
Um, Where and then, is this? Where, how do I do this? How do I make so Go into Google Calendar and- How can I do this? <laughs> and then like, you know, I'm, so then like this prep week, like this is prep week for our challenge group. And then like, we're gonna talk about summer sustainability. And then we're gonna talk about being comfortable, being uncomfortable for our themes and then celebrating successes. And then like uh, the coach sneak peek is in there, like coaching invites. So um, if you see down here where it says other calendars and there's yeah. a plus sign, yeah, you can create a calendar. And then you can just share it with people. Okay, see, so I'm not using this. I am using a just regular Google Calendar. Like, mm -hmm. so this is very helpful. So then when I go into my team page, I'm gonna tell you this and then it's not gonna be there, but I think it's there. Um, and then it's on my phone too, like. Yeah. Oh, that's you. I need me. Oh my gosh. It's like a whole separate thing that I've never even knew existed. This is yeah. lovely. These are, see, like, will you guys teach me how to coach? I don't know what I'm doing over here. Just <laughs> <laughs> so working on my process. Um, Sarah has been teaching me this entire time. Yeah. Can you say that. <laughs> Kelly's like, my upline sucks, but my downline's great. So I'm just going to default to them. <laughs> you guys, I just, needed an, I just needed a process, like, that worked in my head. Yeah, well, that's super helpful. Um, so then if I go here, under files. So this is in, like, when I sign a new coach. This is in like that coach progression that I take them through. Yeah. Um, it's there for them to join. Yeah. So team calendar. And then it just gives them like join here. And then the, here's a tutorial that I made for using the calendar. That's just amazing. Super. I love it. Yeah, and so it's just on like my coach. So like spending a new coach, like it's on the progression. Like make sure you've invited them to the team calendar. Make sure you know you've intro them to the team. Make sure you've done that. Like it's all there with hyperlinks. Yeah. <clears throat> so it just goes. You say you're disorganized, Sarah. You are not disorganized at all. Like this okay. is making my heart but hurt. I, I feel like I'm just slacker. This is, but you have like I had to restructure everything because I felt like I was getting coaches, but I didn't know what to do with them. Like I have six working coaches between Eric and I, and I had no idea what to do with them. And I'm like, I need to figure out a process for a team if I'm gonna have a team, and so. Mm -hmm. That's why, but I haven't hit success club for how many months? And it, because I was trying to reorganize everything. So I got all of that organized and then I went into, you know, I need to reorganize the way I'm inviting and the way I'm doing like my process. It wasn't because I felt like I was growing. Like, even though my numbers might not be showing it, my team is showing it yeah. and like, so there's those, I, there's yeah. that. I like it. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it. I'm going to make a calendar. I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll get there. Just wait. Just wait. I still struggle, it, but it's really nice because then I'm not recreating the wheel every month. Like, I just, like extend that like national wake-up call it's every monday here's the link i never have to put that back in yep and it will have you know my goal is to like have everyone's birthdays in there and like that kind of stuff so then that's all organized in there for me oh shoot kelly's working out you got well, did your um boxes come i got boxes okay. <laughs> You can't work out yet unless you're. Kelly, sit down. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Good job. Good job. You're doing great. <laughs> So Sarah, you need to make a video tutorial. Yep. I have it. In all your spare time. It's here. Do you want it? It's right here. Yeah. For what? What? On what? On your organization system. So I can maybe glean parts of it, pieces. <clears throat> I'm just not, I, no, to be honest, I'm just not focused on the business right now at all, clearly. <laughs> so I feel like I'm spinning my wheels, but I'm also not really doing anything. And I think what's triggering all of it is that, like, my posts from last year are coming up, and I'm seeing, A, the consistency where I was posting about it all the time and doing mm -hmm. all the things, and that I have so many people who are liking and commenting and doing the things, but I didn't know what I was doing to be able to follow up with all those people. So now I'm like, Ooh, yeah. I need to go in and plug all those people back in because they've been interested before. I need to keep it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. And yeah. that's what, like every day I hop on and look at my memories. Like, okay, what did I do last year? At this right. How is it different? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, even like my Instagram feed, like I looked at it, like I went, I've been really trying to go back through and like, look, you know, like if I were me, does it look appealing to the eye? I, yeah. I think it looks prettier than in the past. And like, it's not just a sweaty selfie every single day. Like right. you would really, other than my like transformation Tuesday. You wouldn't you know. Could, yeah. Like. I mean, it's like one sweaty selfie and like yeah. rest is me and my friends. Mine's a lot of belly. Or my kids. <laughs> <laughs> but it should be. Get on that. I reuse some of my posts too. Like I'll see a memory yeah. pop up and I'm like, oh, yeah. Ooh, that was really good. Like that, that was, was good. good. Next. I mm -hmm. need to you know, and just repurpose it and find a new picture and yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I, same thing. Yep. Smart. See? Smart. All right. See, this is why I have to get back to getting on the calls on Saturdays. You're yeah. right. <laughs> you are right. You are right. Um, something Kelly and I were just talking about, like, we since the beginning w these calls have been my priority no matter where i was i mean how many times have i had earbuds in and i'm like dropping brady off at a hockey tournament somewhere like even if i don't participate i hear it because i don't go back and listen to them i don't so if i'm missing it i'm missing it like i'm probably not watching the recording because it takes every ounce of me to go back and like watch national wake up call. And I watched the recording on national wake up call because I get forward through all of the recognition and get to the speaker. True statement. <laughs> yeah. Like I love, I mean, good job getting one star Sammy Glanick on your third CBC. But, <laughs> but I'm over here just trying to repurpose my whole life. So <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you, girl. Good job. Yes. I love your Insta stories when I need a good brain break, but. <laughs> yep. <Man>. <clears throat> All right. Kevin. Are we. Anybody else have anything? I don't. I don't think so. Nada. Nada. I was going to text Michaela. Um, yeah, I don't have anything. Oh. Okay. Um, so I, I'm just going to tell you guys real quick. I had every intention of like throwing in the towel for the month of June because, or for the month, no, for the month of May. And after like one trip, then the second trip, then 
brain stuff. Like I was like, just literally my brain was done working like at the end of last month. And, um, and then between, you know, the Memorial day and then kids getting out of school. Like I was like, all right, there's no way that like I hit SC eight on like the 24th and was like, I'm just going to say that's good enough. Like I have no intention of like really trying to like do a whole lot. Like I kind of just threw in the towel and was just accepting the fact that like I was going to have a bad month. And, um, I like, to be honest, I hadn't looked at my income because I just knew that it was going to be crap. And cause I wasn't really working and, um, and I didn't do hardly anything in the back office. Like I totally just checked out last month and, um, and I was talking to Luke yesterday and we were talking about, um, my income. And I was like, yeah, I said, I just haven't even looked this month. Cause I just feel like I've been so like, just out of it. And he's like, well, and he, he tracks it as well as I do. And he's like, let me just pull it up. And we went through my income and I had a actually significant month last month, um, based on residual income. And I was like, Oh, well, that's more than I made as a nurse when I was working as a nurse. Like that's a good thing. And he's like, yeah, so don't think that, you know, you're, not you're not doing stuff is not making a difference like because that is coming into play and i did have you know a few things so then i was like super driven these last couple days like okay well i'm gonna like i'm gonna push for this at the end of the month like i'm gonna i'm gonna see what you know i'm gonna pull out all the stops and see what i can really do and um i had a random person order something. So when I logged in yesterday, I was sitting at 10 and I'm like, I have no idea who you are. I did, it didn't say I was the ordering coach. So I don't know if it was an error or if they're going to take those points away, but I was like, well, dang, I, okay. And then I talked about health bet and I had some conversations and I finished at 14 last night at 11 PM. Um, and I, got that fire in my belly again last night that has been missing for the last few weeks. And I had really good conversations with people the last 48 hours about things that they really want to accomplish and accomplish this month. And, um, and it felt really, really good. And it kind of like, just like gave me that fuel that I need again. Um, and like, admittedly, like I've been kind of trying to like distract myself with other things because I've had a lot going on and this business has not been one of them. Um, and I've had a lot of conversations with people in the last couple of weeks that have been like, Oh my gosh, how are you still doing things? Like, how are you still being a functional human and how are you still like making yourself a priority? And I think like through all the craziness and stuff, it's kind of been my saving grace because even though I've not, I hadn't been technically working the business as I normally do. I'm still showing up and showing people that like it's possible to still do the things even when you don't feel like doing the things. Um, and my, my business activities, um, apparently income stuff has been a reflection of that as well. Um, so before I continue to rant on any further, um, Sometimes it's okay to check out. Sometimes it's okay to take a break. You know, sometimes it's okay to get your head right. Um, but like when you kind of recommit and you, sometimes it takes one conversation with someone. Sometimes it takes like one person to say, dude, like I finally lost those last five pounds. Like, holy crap, you know? And it really does like as insignificant as it seems sometimes sometimes to talk to one person like it can be extremely significant in their life so don't forget that you know as we go into the summer and we get bombarded with all of the things like don't forget just the little bit of impact that you can make on someone the little bit of impact that it seems you can make how significant that can be in someone else's life so um that's all um but yeah i just thought it would was a little something fun to share that, you know, anyway, before I get all teary eyed and stuff. Boo hoo. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to stop recording. Um, and then we'll just, uh,